Hey you guys, it's Jeffrey with Hell's Carpet Cleaning here. And what we are going to be doing is a little bit of residential carpet cleaning Happy Valley. That is going to be the title of our video for today as far as SEO work. So we got to throw in some buzzwords like powerful truck mounted steam cleaning and whatnot. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going into this place. It's a three level townhouse. So um, when you're dealing with double stairways by the time you make it up to the third floor you've already knocked all the debris and everything off your feet so um the upstairs really just needs to be super pre-vacuumed and encapsulated and that usually takes care of it and it looks absolutely beautiful on um, the stairways and then the main level or in this case the second level which is the main living level need to be extracted because everything is coming from the parking lot is coming off going up the stairs into the main living area and if there's anything left it's also going up those stairs so stairways generally get pretty hammered and the only way to take care of them the right way is with uh, the powerful truck mounted steam cleaning so that's going to be our deal today now um been here a couple times before in the past and this is pretty much these are the kind of units that I have uh, special you know um, customized my cleaning for um, like again like I said uh, encapsulate the top floor and steam clean the rest and that's usually it looks absolutely beautiful when you're dealing with new customers sometimes it's a harder a harder gig to sell but when you're dealing with a repeat customer they trust you they already know that you do a good job because they've seen the results and at that point it's easy peasy so we're gonna go in there we're gonna knock this one out today all right you guys so basically we've got two rooms on the upper level probably look familiar from another video but we're gonna begin with the super vacuum if you can see Carpets aren't terrible, but they do have a bit of debris in them. So we're going to go through, get them all cleaned up. It'll look absolutely wonderful. This is a third floor, so there's the, the set of stairs, and that goes down into the family room. And then there's another set of stores, stairs that they go out the door. So stair climbers, what? Yes. I love stair climbers because this is my 24 hour fitness right here, right now. All right, so whether or not you are a new cleaner in the industry looking to start your business or you are looking for a carpet cleaning company to come out and service your home or office, this right here, the pre-vacuum is the first and most important uh, step of the job. Some carpet cleaners skip it and move right on to the pre-spray and the extraction with their powerful truck mounted steam cleaning. Anyways, we don't do that. We go ahead and we get all that dust and nasties and debris out of the carpeting. Especially if you got kids. Look at all the little beads and food and whatnot that collects in the carpeting. And guess what? The little openings on most of these wands that they use to wand your carpeting are for sucking up the water. They're not meant for pulling up debris and Cheerios off the carpeting. So you got that stuff going on. Guess what? They're turning it all into mud. And then you just got to hope that their uh, powerful truck mounted steam cleaner is uh, powerful enough to pull all that mud back out of the carpeting. Or else they're just leaving mud and dirt in your carpets. And statistically... Um, it's shown that roughly 40 to 60 percent of that muddy, dirty water actually remains in your carpets, and that's why um, some carpet cleaners it literally takes a day or more for the carpets to dry, and that's because they left so much water in there. And there's no way to say that that water has actually been flushed completely through. Um, you know, half of it could actually just be muddy water that they're leaving behind in your carpet. So, woohoo! Good for you. You guys got some really good cheap bargain carpet cleaning there and your carpets are going to resoil and look like trash again in a couple weeks but anyways it was cheap so when you uh go and you are in shopping and looking for a, a carpet cleaning company um one of the, the 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 best things that you can do is actually find out and ask about what is their cleaning procedure and if their cleaning procedure does not start with a pre-vacuum i would hang up i would 
say thank you for your time, but uh, I don't think so. And call the next guy on the list and find out if he does a pre-vacuum. If they pre-vacuum, that right there is a good sign that they are cleaning by the book. And they are getting your carpets done right the first time. Um, there are a few other things to do, but the pre-vacuum is number one. And as far as the pre-vacuum goes, you guys, the way that it is set, I mean, this is a $3,400 Kirby vacuum cleaner. So this is top of the line. It does an awesome job. It's very strong and powerful. And it picks up everything along the, the baseboards without having to use any attachments because the, uh, the vacuum and suction that it generates due to the the massive amounts of airflow that it has both from these into air intakes there and air intake underneath and all over the place it just absolutely rocks so the way that you set these guys is that you move everything into the uppermost upward position so that the head is off the ground as far as it will possibly go you turn it on, but for the sake of noise, I'm not going to turn it on. And then you'll begin lowering it one click at a time until you hear that beater bar make contact with the carpeting. As soon as that beater bar is made contact with the carpeting, you click down one more time. And that right there is your sweet spot. I just happen to know that that is the spot that I need to be at because I cleaned some other carpets up here already. And um, that right there is your sweet spot. It's going to allow for optimal airflow and pull up as much debris out of the carpeting as possible. So that right there is just a tip on how to properly set your vacuum cleaner. All right, so what I'm doing down here is I'm cornering out, cornering out, making my boxes, cutting through. We hit that back. We extracted, treated it, and agitated and extracted already. Um, had to move the table onto this side. So now we're gonna clean this little area here. And we're gonna move that chair back up, get out of the way, and then we will continue on with the floors here, which is probably the most dirty area as far as traffic and food and stuff goes, is right in here. But we'll put this cleaned up and we will back all those hoses and lines out the door as we go, because right now it's a little congested in here. I apologize. I came right through here and forgot to do a video in the bedroom. And in that bedroom, I can't really go in there, but you can see it's all steam cleaned and looking absolutely beautiful. Then we came down the hallway. Now we're going to hit the stairway up. I'm going to go ahead and pre treat it. A little brush is down there to the left. You can barely see it. It's that white and orange, brand new brush. No dog hair, no dust mites, none of that nonsense that you've got to deal with the other guys out there. And then we are going to extract it with our powerful truck mounted steam cleaning. Throwing in those keywords, dropping those keywords because they're worth money, man. They're worth money. some red stains out of the corner there. Okay, and uh, thanks to Andre Brown's carpet cleaning, giving me a pointer. This happened, and it looks pretty cool. So Jeffrey, out in uh, Southeast Portland. Needed some carpets cleaned? Give me a call, 503-939-0534. And no, I don't touch up traffic areas for 20 bucks. Sorry, it just doesn't happen that way. Talk to you later. Enjoy the next video. Keep watching.